Hello friends, greetings from Iceland. This footage is from the last night, 12th of July 2023. I filmed it during my second visit to the eruption site. It happened in the night. I arrived there about half past 11 in the night and left around 4 a.m. in the morning. Got home at 6, so it was a night tour. But fascinating trip because at night you can capture beautiful footage and beautiful sunset colors. We have polar nights now in Iceland, which it makes it really special to be there at night. Uh, here you can see all the lava flows and where are they going. The lava is flooding that sand valley next to Coffin Mountain, Kistofat to the front right. It's a glacial moraine, there is really nothing to harm there, it's just sand. So it's kind of good that lava is going there. And it's moving towards Meradalir to the south. It's very far to the ocean, uh, more than 10 kilometers. And typically eruptions at Reykjanes Peninsula, they are not so big. So it's very unlikely that lava will make it all the way uh, to the ocean, though it shouldn't be excluded, it depends how long the volcano will last. Uh, Fagradalsfjat eruption lasted for six months, as you know, and now we have lava going at about the same speed as back in 2021, but 10 cubic meters per second. But initially it was more powerful eruption, we had 30 cubic meters per second at the start of the eruption. 10 times more powerful than 2021 and 2 times more powerful than Meradali last year. So, but it was only in the beginning due to the heavy accumulation and pressure of magma uh, on the surface of Earth. It couldn't break through and finally when it broke due to the pressure, we had uh, so much magma coming out. But now it stabilized it, it found its equilibrium and lava is oozing at a stable speed of 10 cubic meters per second. And volcanologists predict the eruption to last weeks to months, unless something special happened, like an earthquake that might block the lava flows. Uh, this is how volcano looks more or less now as well. The activity is concentrated at one went which is kind of prolonged fissure and the volcano walls, crater walls are being built up uh, every day around it. It has one exit point to the south at the moment, but it may change and lava might spill over also um, to the left or right, whatever direction. But it follows similar paths uh, as eruption of Thrainskjöldur it's flowing over the old lava flows from 9,000 years ago. Uh, there is heavy emission of CO2 right above here, above the crater. Uh, at the start of the eruption, we had 3,000 tons of CO2 carbon dioxide em emitted into the atmosphere every five hours now is less, but still it's dangerous to be hit by CO2 plant. So follows instructions from Icelandic police and visit this, the site only when it's open, when the wind is in favorable direction. It's really worth to visit it, it's once in a lifetime experience, but be safe. God bless you all, be well and all the best. Enjoy the video.